CTV's crime reporter Tamara Cherry is next. Tamara, you're at the scene of a 2015 murder where investigators now believe the victim was killed by a sniper. Police say they didn't realize the type of killer they were dealing with until Clinton Yaofu's autopsy. They say when they, they learned that he had been killed by a high-powered rifle, they expanded their crime scene. And that's when they say they found the so-called sniper's nest. Clinton Yaofu had secrets. Our investigation has revealed that the shot came from a high-powered rifle, and we believe that he was shot by a sniper. And someone went to great lengths to see him dead. It is a Browning BLR short magnum. It has a lever action. And it can hit a target from a mile away. But in this case, police say it was about 200 yards, two football fields. This was a shot that was made at a considerable distance. It was made at night in the dark. It was windy and Clinton was on the move when he was shot. Police say the hunting rifle has a history in Montreal and they think the sniper may have a history there as well. Police won't say exactly where they found that so-called sniper's nest, but local business owners tell us that police told them the fatal shot was likely fired from within that fenced off enclosure. Now there is barbed wire there. It would not have been easy to access, but if the sniper was laying down on top of that trailer at that time of night, just before midnight with fewer cars in this parking lot, he or she would have had had a direct line of sight to Yao Fu. Yao Fu, who had connections to organized crime and who police believe was a significant player in the GTA drug game before his death. Yao Fu, who told his family he was out of the country in July of last year, but who seemingly snapped this photo in St. John's, Newfoundland during that time. Police want to know why he was on the East Coast and why he was keeping it secret. And they want to know who he was on the phone with when he was shot. He was talking to a person in another country, police say, a person who could have valuable information and what Clinton was doing that night who he might have been meeting with and what he was talking about when he was killed Clinton Yao Fu had secrets the person who wielded this rifle has secrets police want to know them all and it was more than two hours before Clinton Yao Fu's body was discovered on the driveway behind me police say it was a friend who found his body a friend who spoke with investigators initially but who has since disappeared. Anyone with information is asked to call the Toronto Police Homicide Squad or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live, I'm Tamara Cherry. Michelle, back to you. Thank you, Tamara.